Yeah. Okay, what's up? We're back. We're talking about putting again. Uh, it's at Sean Clement. It's at Y Golf TV. This is Amelia New Golf. We had some questions regarding how to become a better putter, how to become a better distance putter, how to perform better while you're putting. So we set up these jelly beans. This is all going to make sense in a minute. We did a previous video um, referencing Mark Brody's stats about how to become better at short range putts. Statistically, it's harder to make putts when you're outside, let's say 20, 30 feet. So we're, for reference sake, we're going to pretend Sean's like 30 feet away, okay? Yeah. If you're like, I need to get better at putting 40 footers, no you don't, you just need to hit it better. Hit it closer. Right? That's it. So Sean, what are these jelly beans on the ground and how can they help the people at home become better aimers? Everybody says that they're bad putters, me and Sean. Uh, agree to a point that sometimes you're just bad. You can have bad aim. Well, that's it. So we're all gravity experts, okay? As human beings on this planet, we negotiate with gravity every day. If you've got two arms, two legs, and you're insurable. We're good. All right. So if I, if you look at, it, I have a brace. Let me let me just throw a putt your way right now, just to show you how much this is going to break. So I'm going to aim straight at the hole, and I'm going to allow it to. See how the ball, the putt falls off? So there's, there's to give you an idea how much this breaks, okay? So if I roll that same putt towards the extreme right jelly bean, your left, okay? <laughs> so I'm feeling the momentum of my putting stroke moving toward that jelly bean. I'm going to let the momentum roll it toward the jelly bean. If I make it the same speed, oh, almost. A much, a much better putt too, right? Yeah. His, his remaining length is considerably less. Another reason he's a better two putter. Right. So if I cut that off and I want the putt to break less, well, I'm going to have to hit this much harder. So if I don't want the putt to break, so now I'm going to visualize, and it's all the way how you visualize. If I'm aiming at the hole and I don't want this putt to break, now all of a sudden, I gotta use a lot more momentum to cut a lot of that breakout. Obviously now I'm risking, you know, throwing it 10 feet by. So there's a sweet spot of you know the speed that you want that ball to roll in on, right? Mm -hmm. So the way I like to see my ball rolled in, I like to see the ball rolling into the hole and then not hitting any part of the hole on the way down. And that especially on, on a faster green or on a downhill putt. Versus if I'm on a slow green going a little uphill, I want to see the ball go over the front of the hole and hit the back of the hole on the way down, like halfway down the, the, the cup. Yeah. And I'm going to allow my, my instincts to respond to that. So once I'm set up, I'm going to say, okay, I kind of like that green jelly bean at the, at the very end over there. It, see, it seems to fit this break quite nicely. And I'm going to see the ball start toward that jelly bean and about four feet out, it's going to start going back toward the hole. It's going to start breaking toward the hole as it slows down. And I want to see the ball enter the hole at 5 o'clock. If 6 o'clock was my straight in putt, I want to see it enter at 5 o'clock and roll in nice and soft. So it's going that way, then it breaks, then I see it roll in, react to that picture. Ooh, that snapped hard, but my speed was spot on. The big thing, this for me, like, and I'm just speaking from personal experience here, and I grew up in obviously in the Tiger Woods era where Tiger just smashed every putt in the back of the hole. Yep. So when I wanted to try and when I was trying to will a putt in mm -hmm. when I was younger and immature, right? <laughs> I always tried to hit it too hard. Yeah. And as I got older and had more respect for the, the green complexes and how gravity would influence the ball and how I could use the green to my advantage, I started to realize the, the more that I uh, let's say I had a must make putter, a putter on mine that I really wanted. I would put more trust in the green, more trust in gravity, and let it do its job. Yep. And uh, I have since become a better avoider of three putting on long putts and just a, generally a better aimer and better putter. You're a better listener. Yes. Yeah, that, you know, that works in other departments too, doesn't it? Yeah. Being a better listener. <laughs> No doubt. <laughs> Anything you want to add? Uh, no, I think that's it. You know where we're at in the comments or on Twitter or you, know, you can email Sean, you can email me. You know where we're at if you need more questions, if this makes sense to you. Can I answer? Yeah. So remember before when we were doing the round, around the world, 
Now, the, this is where the ladder drill comes in really yeah, handy. Nice. Yeah, right? Nice. Nice. So, you know, reacclimate, I usually pot in that direction there. So, reacclimating myself with this direction, I'm going to start in here inside my five foot, and I'm going to go ahead and roll that pot and see how it breaks. And then I'm going to move to my next one. See that ball roll in. Let momentum roll it in. There we go. So now my brain is starting to register what's happening right now. Let momentum roll that in. So now I'm thinking, okay, that's starting to like, that's a little bit too harsh for what I'm looking for. And as I'm going along, there we go. Would you say you're picking a different colored jelly bean as you go along? Exactly. Okay. Notice the first one, I was right there, and then as I got to, the, I had to bring it up the ridge a little bit more, and you notice the last one kind of went in a little bit more at 5 o'clock. Yep. So but, when, you, when you're performing the ladder drill with a break, you'll notice that this particular setup will change. Exactly. Will, be, uh, will, will seem a lot more logical. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense. You interact with us with comments, questions. Retweet us on Twitter if you think it's dope. We're here for you. It's dope.